Hi, I am Dola Kwadisu. I am a counselor and the founder of Hopeville. Hopeville is an organization that reaches out to transform individuals and to also impact society. This is our memos from 2015. I am very excited to share with you some of the highlights and achievements of our 2015. In 2015, we started doing our Twitter chats. We had three different guest speakers. One of them was Mrs. Esther Ejeriri and our topic was help I have been abused. One of the things that struck me is that usually victims of abuse do not speak out and so from this tweet chat I was able to get that once you speak out you get help and that is one of the things we do at Oakville. Once you speak out we're able to help you and provide you with all the assistance that you need. Also there's life after abuse. Don't be shy. Don't feel like you cannot live your life to the maximum. You definitely can. We also had another tweet chat with Ninja Wife and our topic was essence of communication in relationship. I learned accountability is necessary for growth of relationship, transparency is key, and honesty is very, very vital. The last one we had before the end of the year was with Reverend Dr. Craig, where we talked about finance and money, who spends what, who buys what, and then the necessity of it. One of the things I also learned in that one was that first, you need to know yourself, you need to know your potential, how much are you willing to spend, how much can you spend, what is really necessary to spend, do you have to buy the designer bag now? or you can forfeit it for later on. Also, one of the major highlights for us at Oville was the fact that we provided 70 pairs of school standards and school socks for children that were less privileged, but in another organization. For us, this was great because it shows that we were able to reach out to other people from other communities. And the fact that they were less privileged meant that we were willing to go all the way for them, just for them to get back to school. We got this information within a short period of time and I was really pleased that we were able to get back. you see some pictures. Another highlight of 2015, although this is based on my personal journey, was the fact that I needed to prioritize what is important, what needed to live my life, and also the fact that I learned that growth only comes when you leave your comfort zone. And when you finally decide to leave your comfort zone, you would also leave people out of your comfort zone. You would need to, at some point, work on your own, lean on God. So I learned how to lean more on God, speak more to God, spend more time going through everything in my head, knowing if it was work. And then I basically learned how to mind my business in 2015. And I hope I've been in 2016. How was 2015 from you? Remember, you can follow me on Instagram at Dollardisu, Twitter at Dollarpodisu, and then Twitter for Hopeville is Hopeville N. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.